In this video, we're going to have a look at creating a timber pergola or timber archway with these railings here. Now, to do this, we're going to have to create a couple new families. So what we want to do, first of all, is open up and create or file new, um, file new family. And we're going to pick the metric baluster template. OK, so you can just open that up. And then when you've opened that up, you have this elevation here with a couple of the reference planes and just draw the outline. Don't worry too much about the height. I've just used the reference plane that's already there as um, the top of that. But you'll adjust the heights as you actually set them anyway. So just create the outline of your um, pergola. And don't forget to select the material. And then the extrusion start and the extrusion end to give it a thickness as well. So when you've done that, set file save as and give it the name that you want. And don't forget to then load it into your project and you can then close it. The next thing to do once you've done that is to go to file and oh, sorry, file and new family. And this time we're going to do a profile. So find the metric profile. There we go. And that one you can then open up. OK. And with that one, once you've opened that one, so I'll just open the one I've already done. There we go. So with this one, we're simply drawing the railing. Now we've got to do the railing separately one at a time. So center it, move it across then to however wide your pathway is or you need the pergola to be. And again, um, make sure you save it and identify it and then do a load into project. Then you can mirror it over to the other side, save it again, perhaps save one as left, one as right. And don't forget to load that one into the project as well. So once you've created the timber arch and both railings, loaded all three of them into your project, we can now go to our site plan. And what we can do here is click on the railing command. Now, I'll edit the type just to show you what we do. We now have the railing structure. So let's click on that. Notice you've got the height of the railings and then you select the profiles of the railings and give them a material. So when you select the profile of the railings, because you saved it already and loaded it into the project, it's already by here for you. And then the balusters, this is where you can pick your regular balusters here. All right. So timber arch and give it your top offset and the distance that they are from each other. And then you've got a start post and we could put an end post on there as well. Um, just to make sure that they're all the same. And give those heights as well and click OK. All right. So the rest of it we don't really need in this instance. So we can now click OK. And now we can actually sketch out the path. I'm going to use the pick lines and give an offset, which is 750 because my path is 1500. And that will just make it a bit easier to keep it centered on the path. Just going to zoom in a bit there. OK, so that's fine. I will now check the level. OK, mine's at level zero and I don't want any offsets and then tick. And then let's have a little look so we can see we've got it running along there. And in 3D, that's our new pergola. So fairly straightforward, um, those little things to create first, the actual timber arch as a baluster, 
and then each individual railing. And if you wanted to, of course, you could add more railings to it and create extra details in doing that as well. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy them and look forward to seeing you next time.